out here today to demonstrate the diamond configuration for tarp. Uh, this is the one I've been using. If you saw the uh, Tensees haversack for hunting uh, post from last week, it's the uh, shelter I've been using for winter camping. Uh, I used it earlier today. Uh, just a wool blanket, got down into single digits, it's perfectly warm all night with just what I got on now. Uh, basically, in this kit, we have grabber tarp, a bungee cord, if I have a couple knots tied in it, they're in strategic locations for a reason. The three tent pegs, uh, these can be, you know, regular tent pegs, or you can pick up a stick as a fork in it, drive in the ground, use the same thing. And then just three little twigs, sturdy enough not to break under pressure, but, you know, enough to secure the um, cross stick as you push it through uh, the tarp so it doesn't rip the tarp out. And then three adjustable projects. Uh, we'll get into how to tie these in another post here in a couple days. So basically, that's all you need. Now let's get into it. Should be able to have this thing up and easily with less than five minutes. And I'm hoping to have it up in less than two. We'll see. There you go. About waist height. Wrap your bungee cord around. See that knot coming into play? Unfold your tarp. Pick a corner. Be your top of your ridge line. Unfold it. Come to the back, shove your press it up through the grommet. Stick a stick through, pull tension. Pull tension on your tarp. Do the exact same thing. you can already tell this is already a bad location for the shelter. It's luckily not going to be one I'm going to be spending any time in, but the uh, wind is coming from this direction up. You always want to have the rear be where your wind direction is coming from. So you need that extra protection. We're also kind of right on top of a ridge, so that's not going to give you any extra cover. All right, last pegs in the ground, good to go. Side under, you're protected a lot better than a regular uh, standard ridge line. Really easy setup, only a couple seconds. I have a knot in the bungee cord there, and the reason for the knot there. How I secured that. If you're noticing it's getting extra tension here, all you have to do is side this pressic in, and you have a little bit extra tension without moving your peg. That's why I love using pressics for my tarp setups. Same thing there, and an overview from this side and we'll give you a good shot on the inside. 
how much room he's got. Plenty of room on a pretty decent sized guy and as you can tell there is plenty of room for me and some gear in there. Alright, any questions post them up and appreciate your views.